Good morning, everyone. My name is Alessandro Barison, Portfolio Manager of Quantwave. Welcome to our monthly update. 2019 had a very challenging start. Uh, in January, our strategies were down around 4.8%. The main driver of our losses was uh, our strategy on uh, equity indexes, which lost around 2.7%. The, the loss was uh, mainly due to our short bias over the month, especially in the second half of the month. Uh, short bias on uh, most of the global equity indexes and especially Europe and uh, sometimes with a tactical uh, approach US as well. This clearly didn't work. The market rallied, continued uh, to rally despite bad fundamental data over both uh, uh, technical indicators uh, sentiment which was not improving as the equity performance was uh, suggesting and uh, fund flows which were suggesting uh, additional outflows from uh, developed market equities. So this was uh, the main driver of uh, our losses. The second driver of our losses was our strategies on, eff our strategies on effects, uh, mainly on the uh, Japanese yen. We, uh, we were unfortunately a short yen during the flash crash which happened at the first half of the month. Our model uh, clearly adapted to that and strat effects uh, recovered a bit over the month, but we're, we're still down around 1.9 at the end of the month. Our strategies on fixed income were overall positive with uh, positive gains on the bond strategies and some losses on, uh, on credit indexes, uh, but overall positive. Uh, what we are seeing now in our data and our models, uh, basically we're seeing that uh, Sentiment is recovering, but not really much as uh, the equity price performance would suggest. Fund flows, uh, especially on developed market equities, are not improving. Uh, they are very strong on uh, uh, US investment grade credit and bonds and, and emerging markets, but on average, US European uh, equities, they're very, they're, they're still very weak. They're not recovering. Uh, we are also seeing that the, the earnings downgrade are continuing, especially in uh, Europe. Economic surprise is still very negative uh, across the globe, and um, uh, technical variables suggest uh, uh, that a potential uh, equity correction is still uh, uh, very likely in the short term. And uh, we fundamentally agree with, with what uh, our models are seeing. Uh, at the moment, we are basically flat risk on equities with a long bias on emerging market and a short bias on Europe. Uh, and basically uh, flat credit with the same uh, country bias, sorry, uh, long US versus uh, European credit. And uh, we are positioned with a long bias on bonds. The long bias on bonds have been reduced a lot uh, since the end of January. So now we are only slightly longer, but I think the position will, on bonds will continue to be longer, even the bad uh, equity uh, economic surprise that we keep seeing every day. And that was all. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you next month.